Welcome back, trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at a couple of steel types, Escavalier and Melmetal. And in my last video, I was going over the fact that Niantic tweeted out something potentially leading up to Mega Evolutions at GoFest. And it looks like that is not the case. It's actually going to be revolving around Team Rocket in the blimp trying to take Pikachu and some blueprints that look like a fifth grader drew them. So typical Team Rocket kind of stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Before we get into the commentary, I want to say I wanted to show the sets that I had today, but I want to play another day with it so I can go into battles without potentially some people knowing what I do have because I went every single set four and one except for the last set where I messed up and even potentially a couple of those other ones I could have went five and oh, but you know, a little bit of errors on my end. Nonetheless, performed great, picking up my score back up and we're looking great. So I'm excited to bring you guys that one potentially tomorrow after I do my sets. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. We're not going to have Escavalier and Melmetal on the same team. We're kind of kind of just showcase them separately here and a few other Pokemon alongside them. Togekiss, obviously fantastic, probably one of the best charm users. I know I'm in love with my Gramble and I still will pick that one over Togekiss because of the movesets. It does have crunch and close combat, but Togekiss is going to be able to cover other Pokemon a little bit better and not get kind of walled by specific fairy types. So anyways, we have the Swampert in here up against the S Cavalier, funny enough. And this is going to be a good matchup for us here. Just going to be going for that Hydro Cannon. They're using that last shield here. We still have three Pokemon. Uh, they're going to go ahead and take us out here, which is perfectly all right. We have that Melmetal and Togekiss in the back. Just going to go in here with the Togekiss and throw the Ancient Power right away and take the win there. Fantastic. Moving it into the next battle here. So Steel types are absolutely amazing, guys. They have the best resistances. They obviously also have their weaknesses, but if the opponent does not have something to combat that, well, they're going to probably be in a decent amount of trouble. So going up against the Cresselia, this is not a horrible matchup for us here. We did get the attack debuff, unfortunately, so the charms are going to be doing less. What we're pretty much relying on here, because Ancient Power isn't going to be doing a dang thing, pretty much as much damage as a charm is doing here. They're getting to another Moonblast. We're going to go ahead and absolutely let this go through. We don't necessarily want to use two shields, but I'm going to eat my words here in a moment because <laughs> I used two shields on my Togekiss, so I can simply get the lead advantage here. Not necessarily something you necessarily want to do all the time. It could be great. It could be, but for the most part, don't burn your shields that quick a lot of times, right? But I've lost people when they've done that. So going up against Escavalier, pretty nice that they're using this for the kind of steel type showcase, specifically Escavalier as well. I'm going to be bringing in the Swampert and going for Hydro Cannon. This is a good matchup for us. Drill runs are going to hurt. Also, Mega Horn is going to hurt a lot. So I think that's what they're going to be getting off here. Yep, Mega Horn taking us out almost going to be going for that hydro cannon but they made a very nice swap into their giratina to absorb that and we're just going to go ahead and swap into our melmetal here resisting those dragon moves so we're just going to simply spam these rock slides here while resisting those dragon moves they continuously go for the dragon claw over and over again which brings me to believe that they probably have ancient power and they rather go for the stab dragon claw over the possible gamble of raising their attack without getting stab onto something that's not very effective as well. And going for another rock side here, just doing as much damage as we can. But this game is not looking great for us. Going for a superpower and it's pretty much over. Melmetal is almost out. Counter is going to be doing a ton. And Swampert is out. And they're going to be able to take the win. Good games. Moving it on to the next one here. Starting it off with Escavalier, we met with Charizard. This is probably the worst situation that you can be in because of Steel and Bug type taking a lot of damage from those fire spins gonna go ahead and bring in our giratina now it's looking absolutely horrible as we're getting hard countered here but let's see what we can do with this battle gonna go ahead and go for dragon claw at this point to potentially get a shield or just do a little bit of damage before we do go down they decided to let it go through that's fine now i do have golem alolan golem because i just wanted to test it out it does have smackdown rock throw and wild charge uh, so pretty interesting. I just, you know, want to have a little fun, a little behind the scenes of what I'm using here. Uh, but, you know, this is one of the reasons why my score is dropping is because I just can't help myself but test random things out. Continuously change my team. It's good to focus on one team and just kind of really get to know it instead of, you know, you lose a set, switch it up. You lose a set, switch it up. You win a set, and then you switch it up, right? Anyways, bringing in the Charizard or the <laughs> Golem up against the Charizard. And they're getting off a Dragon Claw. 
SmackDown's doing a ton. Unfortunately, they had a bunch of energy built up here and it's not going to be looking too great for us because the Gardevoir is in the back and Charm is going to just be able to take us out in pretty much two Charms and down we go. All right, so ready for the quickest battle in history here. On your mark, get set, go, and done. They decided to just give up the match and give me the win. Really appreciate that. Moving it on to the next battle here, starting it off with Gramble up against Articuno. We've seen this before. We do have Charm and it's going to be doing a lot of damage. Obviously, after Icy Wind, we're going to be doing less and less damage as it does continuously get off here. Uh, so I do decide to shield that one up to preserve the health a little bit longer so we can just do as much charm damage. Getting a shield out of them with the crunch, as you can see, we're bringing them fairly low, but, well, the charm damage is simply going to be whittling down to pretty much nothing here as they hit us with a sick and icy wind. They're going to be bringing in Toxicroak, and we're going to go ahead and go in with our Swampert here. So the Muddy, or the Muddy, uh, Mud Bombs are going to be neutral damage. Sludge Bombs, not very effective. Let's see what they're going to go for. It's going to be Sludge Bomb. I do believe the play might be Mud Bombs, but I could be mistaken. Pretty sure for just neutral damage. But anyways, we're able to take that Toxic Croak down. They're going to be bringing in that Giratina. And, well, we're unfortunately not able to get to Earthquake, but that's fine. Yes, I had a Hydro Cannon, but whatever. <laughs> well, it's all good. We're going to go ahead and go in here with Melmetal. They're swapping into Articuno. And I think they did this to potentially have us use our energy on it. So they'd have like a little bit of a leg up. Going to go ahead and return that favor right back to them by bringing in my Gramble. So they can go ahead and use their energy on my 5 HP. And then we're going to bring in that Melmetal again. Well, our only Pokemon, obviously. So going to just go for these Rock Slides at this point. We still have a shield, so we better go ahead and use it instead of waiting to the very bitter end before it's too late. Because that Dragon Breath will creep up on you before you know it here. Going for another one of these rock slides, obviously, and getting pretty close. This is real close here, but we should be able to take the win for sure. And getting to another rock slide, and this is going to secure the win. Melmetal, really appreciate it. Thing is amazing. Now, if you had to pick between the two using Escavalier or Melmetal, which one would it be? Well, it really depends on the other two Pokemon that you have available to use or, or that what you're comfortable to use because... They're two very different Pokemon that do kind of different things here. Uh, yeah, they both are able to attack Steel types, um, as well as, you know, potentially Ice types, like Articuno or something else like Fairy types. But if I had to pick one, honestly, I think Escavalier, for sure. Uh, Escavalier is just more solid. Counter is so strong. Uh, Drill runs good. Mega Horn's doing a ton of damage. That's not to say Melmetal's not good or anything. That's just what I you know, would recommend to anybody to use is Escavalier. It's also going to be a little bit easier to obtain for sure if you're able to make that trade and not spend all that candies to evolve it, which I would highly recommend. As you see, my has a lower attack. That's what you're going to kind of want for the Ultra League here. So going in with the Melmetal up against the Charizard, those Fire Spins are going to be doing a lot of damage, but the Rock Slide is going to absolutely demolish it. They are shielding it up. We're going to go ahead and shield up this. They baited us with a Dragon Claw. At this point, I was thinking, I don't care if they bait me with two. I'm using two shields. We're fine. That's just what we're going to do here. And they're swapping into Togekiss. Unfortunately, it just went down for them. And we're just going to go ahead and go for another Rock Slide. And this is going to be able to take the win for us. Looking good. Moving it on to the next one here. I do believe we have like a couple more battles. This might even actually be the last one. Anyway, starting it off with Escavalier up against Melmetal. Look at that. I didn't even realize that. Isn't that funny, too? The Pokemon we're showcasing. Let's see. The Battle of the Beast. Well, oh, he's switching. Well, the Battle of the Steels, I should say. Uh, and they're going in with that Swampert. We're going to just bring in that Giratina. And it's pretty much a wrap for us for this specific battle here. But it's not over until it's over. So let's see what's going to happen. Hitting us with that Earthquake. That's okay. Hydro Cannon is not going to take us out. We're certainly not going to use a Shield. And at this point, since they did expend that energy, we're farming down. And what are we going to go for? Shadow Sneak. What did they just bring out? I didn't see that. Oh, Snorlax. Very nice. Well played. Licks are going to add up. They do have energy. And we're using a Lolan Golem again, folks. Let's go. Lolan Golem. Are you kidding? Let's see what it can do. Body Slam. Not very effective to the rock. Okay. Uh, so we're going to be going, looks like, trying to get out that rock throw here. Hitting us with another Body Slam. As we've seen or know, the Wild Charge is going to uh, actually give you a debuff now. And we have the Escavalier in here up against the Melmetal again. Awesome. I like this. This is so cool. The two Pokemon. All right. And this is actually the last battle. 
and the Escavalier. Isn't that funny? The one I recommended, pulling up on top. Let's get it. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, folks, please give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you're new and turn notifications on. I'll be keeping you updated on everything Pokemon Go. Thanks for watching, and I'll be catching you all next time.